All right, all right, all right. So part one had so many of you guys waiting for part two, and it's here. We're going to continue on with the Calibre Day collection video for the undisputed reptiles business side of things. So let's just jump straight where we stopped. What's up, my hard exotic people? What's up, my exotic people? Oh, shit. Which kind of makes me think that this female All speaks. right, so now that we're done peening. Absolute maximum effort by the time. We're talking about this. <laughs> but first, take it away, Jules. Show off the kings, bro. Alright, first I need to know where we're my kings. Uh <laughs> somewhere there, 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 yeah, there, 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 there. We're doing the hashings yeah, as well. You there, better brag. No, don't look at like the blue and solaris and these things. There they go. Now you just spoiled the next No, year. I'd never spoiled nothing. They don't know anything about those blue and solaris babies you hatched. Gosh, darn it. Damn That's it. The birth. Birth. <laughs> no, they are they they know what I'm saying. They're all uh, Let's start off with my favorite. Fuck that, I'm going in. Right. Boom! The oh. Mexican Black King Snakes. Now, so this is mommy? Yeah, well, let me just defend defend this. Oh, if snake. you guys have ever kept Mexican Black King Snakes or King Snakes in general, you can clean it now and it'll poop immediately after. You can clean it again and it'll look you in the eye and poo again. All right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Now, I have been, we have been playing with snakes, so she might want to eat me. <laughs> they are on a snake. Uh, sea snake, eat snake sort of freaking died over here so uh with all of us being playing with snakes go and get the lizards with all of us being playing with, <laughs> <laughs> with all of us being playing with snakes we're bound to get that viking snake now because as i mentioned all deformed little babies <laughs> or anything like that they they get they get it they have had it so this is the girl quite clearly to say i'm not involved with this part eh <laughs> <laughs> And then here we have the female full disclosure. If I can get through this entire video without getting put, I would consider myself very lucky because my king snakes, uh, yeah, they're very typical in king snake behavior in regards to smelling other snakes, wanting to eat and things like that. But aren't these just amazing? This little OG might look a little bit weird, but that's because he's older than, he's, he's, okay, he's not as old as us, but he's close to it. He's about 24 years old. Yeah, he's about three years short. <laughs> oh, two years. Let's not give Great. people our true what, what, age. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> what, what a way of giving our age away, hey? So he's in shed, but I mean, look at what a stud of a boy he is. Yeah, he's amazing. Yeah. Uh, he he's is, sired. He's still sired, yeah. But he's, he's sired. sired so of, many babies. Yeah. He's, he's the sire of the most recent clutch we just hatched now as well. Um, we don't believe it for a 24 year old snake. Right? No. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Well, it's like my it's like my OG Centurion, my, my normal ball pipe. I mean, I just stopped him because he's not picking up good weight after breeding. Otherwise, he'd probably still been going. Speak All right, and next up is our beautiful high white Californian king snake female. She's a two-time breeder for us already. Her first time being here by us and her second time also being here by us. And she actually gave us one amazing looking smarty box. Uh, which you guys will still see later on in this video because only her babies have hashed out so far from the Callies. But irrespective, just an absolute beaut of a freaking. Okay, this is the boy. This is the boy. Yeah, as soon as we can find him. There he They're is. They're all hiding on the same place. So as you can see, he's sort of got a different pattern to him. Uh, please don't bite me. Bite him. Yeah, now zoom in on his eyes. All you right. can see a lot better. I'll keep his head still. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, eyes coming from my fingers. Right. Guaranteed, it's probably gonna bite me now. Guaranteed down in the comments, just please explain to Chilean that there's no freaking blue there. It's blue. This is the wrong name for this genetic. I'd have just called it like the pink king snake. What do you guys pink think? Shouldn't snake. this just be That's called like pink. a it's the it's closer to pink than blue? Yeah, you've got a point of it. Yeah, I would go with like the pink one. Because I'm pretty plants. sure um you can line breed this for more intense um color here as well which is don't don't <laughs> which is essentially what we're going to be trying doing um it's just we've got such a big waiting list for don't these bite, babies don't bite, don't bite. yeah they're I, I, technically they're all sold <laughs> yes and then we've got this beautiful dot dash banana king snake female now we actually purchased her grab it already and she arrived in a couple of days after she started laying eggs but all those eggs turned out to be very infertile so we had one egg from her. It actually also hatched. I actually forgot about it. But it was just a normal non-visual baby. So don't really know what the genetics are for her. 
other than what I've just disclosed. But hopefully we'll find out this coming season. Yeah, let's run it. Unsensical, I tell you. There is a cute little banana female. Nah, I'll call it. This is an aberrant banana. Aberrant so banana. So they call it a barret because the patterning's all broken. So it's an aberrant. Just blur out the blood, you know. You yeah, know, oh no, you YouTube will demonetize me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. All right. Look, we're, we're making a butterfly. Oh. You, you got your blood on me. Amen. Oh, well, that's, this is just a beautiful banana, Abra Kingsnake female. Um, she's being raised up as future breeder to this lovely boy. And then over here, we have her boyfriend, a, again, a very beautiful, high white Californian Kingsnake. I would say he's like a 60, 40% high white because he is very high and white and Still has some patching, but phew, what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful looking king snake. To the, oh, is that the high white boy? Oh, you might want to actually discuss something with me with the high whites. Uh, well, not the high white, the albino boy, so she's dead oh. for albino. Let me get him out. Hey, good luck. No, no good luck. Just going to pass him over. Uh -uh. And this is the albino boy. Go for it. Go. Up here, boy. Ah, uh, let's just, <laughs> like, it's fine if you want to bite, just not in the face. Like, these guys actually really hurt when they bite because they don't just bite and let go. That's they true. get, like, this massive feeding response, and then they just don't let go. So, if they bite, just, like, always pray it's not on the freaking fingers or the face. Or All right. Face. No, you're, you're ready to push. Yeah, I'll grab it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, as you said, that female is for this male over here. She's yeah. destined for this boy so we can get out some nice little albinos and hits. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting mm -mm. things. I mean, as you can see, it's quite a nice little boy. If anything, this has got more of a blue tinge than those blue eyed blondes. She is pretty, though. Well, he yeah. is pretty. And then here we have her beautiful banana high white king snake male, which is the complete pair for that female over there. Because I'm thinking that combination could look very pretty if we slap some albino onto it. You know what I'm saying? Or even if we add a little few things into the mix, but just an absolute. Beautiful looking male there. All right, so then we've also got this female over here, which is an aberrant uh, <laughs> banana. <laughs> there she just bit herself. <laughs> oh, come on, Jules. Ah! Okay, yeah. Do it for the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> These guys it's have... This thing biting itself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that so thing. stupid. So stupid. King snakes were so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> then we have this. Again, banana, a barret. So the barret is all this broken band of patterning. And yeah, I'm using a hook because this female inside her enclosure is absolutely ridiculous because she bites and doesn't let go, which I think is going to happen here as long as it's not on my fingers. Then we're all good because she kind of just does that out of nowhere. But if I don't get bit, it's going to be a good video. I'm going to be just so happy. Might not be as entertaining for you guys. I'm sure you've been rooting for us getting bitten. Since we started with the king snakes, these things are freaking crazy. This is probably oh. one of the highest quality of high whites that I have seen. Um, he's also got the same temperament as her, so it's. Huge. And he's not a black, you know, so you can see he's got the brown type of high white contrast. Now, we hatched out some beautiful high white babies, which we might consider actually keeping back specifically for this boy, because. Even though he's cut, he almost has like a white side of rat snake type yeah. of coloring. And I am freaking loving that. Like, I am loving that. Did you get it on video? I almost did. Uh, I don't think it was sword. Darn it. He's also <laughs> the same. See, look at that. Look at these things. <laughs> look at these things. I mean, king snakes. Jeez. Look at that. Down in the comments, do you guys experience the same type of. Yeah, that is a very pretty brown now. Do you guys experience the same kind of stupid behavior from your king snakes? And man, we have to feed these things a lot because they're just look at it. <laughs> they're just crazy. That's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, these guys are actually, in my opinion, what I would consider an apex predator where they come from. I mean, they eat just about any species of snake that comes across their path. Okay. They eat Western Dama granite snakes, Adamantius. It, it doesn't matter how venomous it is. These guys demolish it. And um, then you get the stupid captive ones. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous, actually. Let me eat myself. It's ridiculous, actually. Let's just close this guy. <laughs> then over here, we've got this beautiful looking, again, a, bana a, a barren banana king snake female. She's actually going to be pre 
breeding for us this year as a first timer. Well, it depends. We'll see what size she gets to because she's a decent three years old now. Um, I slow grow a lot of my animals. I don't like power feeding. It's just not something that I do. So I feed every 10 days to all my colubrids and I don't feel me feed meals bigger than their stomachs. But I mean, just look at that. Super pretty holdback female. So I'm very, very excited to be breeding her this year. I don't think she's hit anything special, but irrelevant because she is beautiful. We got a lot more things to go. Let's go. All right, so this, uh, I must say I'm quite enjoying the species, but it's another incomplete pair, unfortunately. Yeah, we're having an issue completing pairs, guys. If you guys can help us out in the comments, you know, that'll be super cool. You can guess what this is. I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what this is, but... I would imagine not a lot of you have seen this high quality of this. Well, mm -hmm. at least here in South Africa. Obviously, in the yeah, Europeans, but... you guys have some crazy stuff, and even in the States. But here in South Africa, we're extremely limited, which is highly frustrating. But that's a beautiful prairie king snake, you know. So if you guys, this is a female. We need a male. A like ASAP, yes, to die. Please. Any of you have males available? Let us know down in the comments again. This is kind of sounding like we're looking for other than a collection video, eh? And then here, one of our holdbacks from last year's clutch is a full stripe albino high white Californian king snake. The quality on this animal is absolutely ridiculous. And he is, in fact, a male. So we're going to see if there's any worth it females in this year's clutch to keep back for him and see if we can line breed this full stripe high white albino. Because I don't know if it's even picking up as nicely on camera as I would have hoped. But man, oh man, the pink on this animal is, whew, it's let's go. Alrighty, so let's start with this little lady over here and we'll work our way down. Yeah, these are all the incompletes, right? No, 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 she's got two boyfriends. So she's, 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 decide which boyfriend she's she got two boyfriends. So that means we need another female. So if you guys know of another female, we need another female. Let's ready? go. Yeah, I'm ready. ready. Are you so sure? Let's do I'm this. Ready. I don't think everybody else is Let, ready. let them see. Let are them see. Ready? Ready? ready. Da, 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 da. We fucked that up. <laughs> that is... Ooh. That is pretty. That is super, super, super pretty. Oh, look at this. She is in shit as well. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful Arizona mountain king snake. These guys are actually quite variable as well. Like... I would expect variability with this type of patterning, but to the degree that I've been seeing of late, it is absolutely ridiculous. Well, we'll show you two boyfriends and you can actually see, see for yourself. See, yeah, yeah, they can see for themselves how freaking variable the species yeah. is. Oh man, I guess just about every king snake should have been called the variable <laughs> king snake. Oh, my guy. Oh, girly. girly. She's kind of in high demand, you know. All right, so we're quickly jumping to the grad rack because we want to show you her boyfriends. Yeah, she's got underage boyfriends. Yeah, no, don't say that. She's got future breeding boyfriends. Yeah, you want me to get demonetized. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, they also ate mm. just yesterday, I believe, so... Won't be too long with them. Yeah, so this is boy number one. I mean, as you can see, he's quite this different. This is the boy that, that, that was Came for me. me. Yeah. Yeah, he's growing up really yeah. pretty. I mean, that's a fuzzy. Can you believe that? Yeah, he's looking ridiculously nice. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Pretty. I love the variety in these, I must say. These Absolutely. are literally, you, which is actually kind of weird because you do get variable king snakes that come in this phase. Yeah, well, actually, yeah, actually now that you mention it. Yeah. Oh, we'll get to some variable stuff later. Oops. Spoiler. Spoiler. Spoiler! So that's boyfriend number one? Yes, boyfriend number two. Yeah, now he is what I would consider sexy. Oh, look at that. That looks like Even a freaking high like so sexy. And he's got a heart. Yeah. So he might be the sire to that dame one of these days. Because uh, he might just, be. That's if he doesn't get. Oh, wait, let me not. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to. Now who's demonetizing you? Well, snakes eating snakes is natural behavior. Ah, but now when I say I'm going to feed this to the King Cabra, no, nah, man, you can't say that. Oh, now you could say that because it's not a bull pipe. Everyone just <laughs> so sends it towards bull pipe. Anyways, look at that beautiful little heart there. That is the coolest thing. And these guys, oddly enough, don't have the attitude of the adults, which is really, really nice. Yeah. Very, very happy with that. Watch it to see like, ah. Yo, watch this now. Okay, lacquer. <laughs> and then right over here, we've got this beautiful hypo Florida King Snake male. I'm super hard pressed for a female. If any of you guys know of any females available, please let me know. I would love to get a female for this guy. He is breeding ready and I need to get 
this in my collection. I mean, look at that. That is mm, magnifique. Magnifique. It's crazy to think how these guys kind of just disappeared from the market. It's absolutely ridiculous. Do Durango. Let's do the Durangos. All right, cool. So which one do you want to start with? You want to start with what was supposed to be a boy and is now not a boy? Or do you want just to show us all the girls. All right, <laughs> All right, so this lovely lady is in shed. She was a boy for the other lovely lady, but also it turned out to be a girl. Yeah. Uh, it seems like it's a common trend. Common trend, yeah. You buy it as one sex and then... Uh, Ends up being another. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. It's exactly opposite of what you thought yeah. you're buying. But I'm not complaining. I mean, to find oh, adult know. female Durangos in South Africa. Oh, my cheese. <laughs> Oh, males, I would I would consider it to be just as freaking difficult. <laughs> and then, yeah, as original female. She's, she's not in quite shit. pretty. Yeah. So, you see, she's got like an orangey sort of band. This female's got this beautiful red band mm. into her. They're heavy variable. I like this, yeah. this band over here specifically. Yeah. Literally, this is a variable king snake, just larger. <laughs> well, I mean, you do get some large variables. Yeah, well, you I get mean. some big uh, variables. Yeah, but literally, this is... These are actually quite a nice uh, king snake species to have. Yeah. They they stay quite compact. Um, they don't really get to too a monstrous of a size like your Callies and your Mex Mex. I mean, Mex Mex can grow. Ah, oh, not Mex Mex. Mexican blacks they can grow up to such a phenomenal size. Actually, yeah. These guys stay quite nice and compact, not like the Floridas and things like that. Here's another female that had her first time breeding season this year. She's currently in shed, which I think might be a prelay shed for a double clutch. I'm not too sure. Like I feel bumps, but I also don't feel bumps. She's not a very big female, so she only gave us a small clutch. She goes about three eggs. But I mean, damn, I love king snakes. I guess you guys can see I love Californian king snakes. I've got so many of them. These guys are just absolutely freaking awesome. Yeah. All right, run it. Really? All right, cool. So this particular snake, as well as two others, actually don't belong to me. They were given to me to breed for a buddy. Uh, but turns out I also don't have a breeder. <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Yet. She is in shed. She is quite a big old girly. With great uh, bandits. <laughs> yeah, she actually fooled me. I actually thought she was gravid. I mean, oh! Now she looks gravid. I don't know, in the comments, what do you guys think? Is that poop or is that bulging? I don't know, that looks like bulging. I, I ain't gonna voice this. I ain't gonna voice this. Don't worry, she's been like that for the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, did I say this is a great bandit? You, no, I did, but it's fine. Right. I, oh, got you. I got you, boo. So she, she's uh, more of the ugly side of Grey Bandit, but... She is truly not the most high-quality Grey Bandit, but yeah. still, it's a Grey Bandit in South Africa. You know, that's yeah, something a, that that's we... Something rare, yeah. yeah, we don't see this too often. Yeah. And I know this must sound funny to so many of you guys in the States, because I know I've got a pretty heavy state audience. Um, we're very limited with what we have available in South Africa, and it's really annoying. We've got stuff that was so full-on here that essentially now I've just disappeared it's it's horrendous right. yeah wait you're too fast okay, uh, go. too fast all right uh, this year is i'll let you know now uh, this. quite pretty now this, this is, is a gray banner yeah. snake so there we go oh, no, see rat snake, gray banner, gray banner, snake. Snake. now you that is quality mickey mouse ears so this is the male that is a very high quality looking animal a beautiful animal young animals i think they're three years old now mm. yeah these guys are ridiculously looking. I mean, that is... Damn, we should have kind of kept these guys for last with this <laughs> extreme contrast. Damn, that's very pretty. Let's let's get to grab the other one and show them something together. Just make sure they don't right. eat each other. They yeah. don't act like king snakes. Well, don't worry. The, mother, the big one tried to eat him. So. <laughs> uh, um, is the girl? I'll, I'll, I'll help yeah, you out with one. Right. And then here's the girl. I mean, look at this future breeding pair. It's a shame these animals don't belong to us because yeah, they're beautiful. They Absolutely are stunning. immaculate looking. As far as I'm concerned, this is one of the highest quality. Yeah. So I've had these guys for about a full season. Um, and unfortunately, I have not been lucky enough to get eggs out well, of them. Well, she's still young. The male, technically, he can sire, but yeah. he's also quite young. So I, I, I do believe this season is going to be this the coming season 100% guaranteed. Oh, let's not say There's that. Not the game that's 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 too cocky because mm. now then we've got people wanting to reserve and then we're gonna be like, ah, oh, now we fucked up. Yeah, I didn't use sex as next. All you know, it's three females. Oh, that would actually be better. Who <laughs> find me a male? <laughs> <laughs> Spotogenesis, please. Yeah. She's in shit. 
All right, go for it. Tell us about this beautiful right. Eastern. So this is a beautiful female Eastern chain king snake. Uh, still a bit young. She's just older than two. We actually kind of looks gravid for some reason. She does kind of look Which like. Which is weird because I'm in Peru, so. Well, you know, South Africa. She could have, from what we know, she could have come from a California king snake. Don't male say that period. because the high white male came from the same place. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna have high white eastern chain kings next time. I'll, I'll, I'll speak with the previous. That owner. does whoa! That is maybe, maybe it's pathogenesis. Maybe mm. it's uh, slugs. Maybe we've got some Kelly King uh, eastern chain. King In things. that case, guys, don't even ask. We're, we will be you may need euthanizing them and feeding them off. We don't hybridize. We don't hybridize, that's unfortunately. It. That's one of the reasons why South Africa barely has anything pure left. Ooh. That kind of looks like it's gravid. Look, look, look. At yeah, that looks like it's gravid. Yeah. I'll put an egg box in for in case. As you can see, she poops a lot. It's not bad. Yeah, she's, I mean, it's a king snake, so. Ah, oh, man, I don't know, Jules. Don't she's know. not fat, because she she's doesn't have fat. hips. That but might she, be. She doesn't get fed often. She only wants to eat. Yeah, well, that might be why, because she's full. Yeah. Damn. And you can see all the poop, so. She's small, though. She's grounded. Yeah, she's tiny. She's going to be a small clutch. Maybe like four, four eggs. Five, six. Ah, oh, I wouldn't say five. They should be small like corn snakes. No, I don't know. No. They you get think big, they're going to be long like king snakes? No, they get big, big. No, I know they get big, but I think they're eggs. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's see. It would be quite interesting. Oh, jeez. Imagine that. Hey, maybe I'm the next... Well, I think we shouldn't handle it too much, considering... Yeah. So then, then she needs to go through a pre lay shed, because she only shed about a month ago, so she needs to go through a pre lay Unless she's going to... No, no, no. Unless, yeah, no, she should be going through a pre This might be I'm her post-ovulation. She might have had a post-ovulation and is now in her pre lay Yeah. That's, the that's interesting. All right, well... We, in any case, do need an actual Eastern Chain King Snake mail. So if you guys know of any tangible, legit King Snake mail, please let either this guy, V Reptiles, we'll link it up here. Well, we're right there. It's very high. It's very high. It's too high, Jules. Jules, you're too high. Ah, don't, look yeah, don't look at that. Don't ones. look at those <laughs> ones. We'll link the Instagram up. Well, not link it, but we'll put a Benji thingy. Here. We'll put a thingy here with his Instagram alias on. Just give him a shout. There you go. And then on its own even and here's the blue-eyed blonde babies while we're still on the lamprofaltus group uh oh, that is a crazy looking baby yeah that should be a whole back man oh man i think we should sex that quickly let's sex that we'll teach you guys how to sex quickly oh, all right let's see Ugh. Yeah, ooh, oh, oh, almost oh, oh, all right let's see Ugh. Yeah, ooh, oh, 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 almost oh, in your mouth it's a male yeah, it's a male. He's a boy. Well, he's still staying. That is, I mean, let's just show them the contrast. So they're all still together because um, they yeah. haven't had their first sheds or anything yet. But I mean, does, is that contrast even picking up on camera? Slightly, ever so slightly. Well, let's put them on the butcher's paper. Yeah, it should show there. There we go. That should be showing now. Uh, oopsie. Now they all kind of look the same. Yeah, that all kind of <laughs> Well, that one's staying. It's that one's staying, yeah. And then, uh, that first, don't spill everything. Chop up. I don't want to spill anything. South African term for saying you're weak as fuck, boy. <sighs> South Africa is such a creative What's culture. What's that? That's it. Then, uh, let's just quickly, we're not going to show you all the Mexican black babies because we've got them at both facilities. <sighs> I'll show you mine. <laughs> These sounds are rough. I'll show you guys mine. Yeah. If you take it, I'll quickly pop them out. Okay, that's a better deal. Now watch, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to grab the easiest top to open. Yeah, but well, that's not fair, you said I should take from the top. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Woo, woo, woo. That, that's fast, fast, 100 yards for the dash. Me, huh? These guys have had their first shed, that's why, you know, you definitely don't want to keep Kingston together after the first shed. Now what makes these so unique, ah oh, man, I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera. Yeah, there we go. The beautiful white banding there underneath. It does fade away very quickly, but while it's there, it's very pretty to look at. Yeah. And then here's some of the grow out Mexican black kings. You can kind of see the kind of, this is last season's babies. You just saw. Yeah, these are 2023. 20, well, actually, these are 20, 2022 pair, 2023 hatched. Yeah. Pull backs. It's so weird to wear it. Quite pretty. Now, the, you might actually get wrecked. Yeah. By these, I'm not going to lie. Feeding response tonight. We fed these quite a few snakes. We're testing a little thing whether they'll grow faster on a heavy snake diet or you if it doesn't thing. really do much on the on the growth rate. But all in all, absolutely 
immaculate looking. We're looking to get a really large group of Mexican black king snakes. They're one of our favorite lump of falsers, so we're definitely adding more. We're probably going to hold back a few again this year as well. I think of those giant babies of mine, we keep back at least a female. And then a pair from OG Boy. OG boy. OG boy, which is the father of yawns as well. Yeah, he's the sire of so many king snakes in this So country. this is the holdback pair from last season. Oh, super So this pretty. one is... That should be the male. The male, that one was the female over there. Very pretty looking. And then we've got one more really fancy king snake to show you guys. Uh, we're trying to complete the pair. So when we show it to you guys, please comment where we can find the opposite. Eat this one, so I'm not going to be too Well, impressive. leave him in the tub, it's fine. Too late. All right. So, beautiful variables, king snake. Female. Female. We need a male, guys. I mean, like, really. Help us out. We're not going to be too invasive. As you guys can see, that belly is quite full. So, I think let's just put him back. We okay. really need a female, guys. Ah, uh, male. Yeah, we need a male. Man, We've I am blotching this. <laughs> All right, guys. From Ohana Exotics, you guys know I love you. You guys know I appreciate you. Thank you so much for staying along and thank you so much for checking out all the videos. Love to hear from you guys, so leave me a comment down below. If you made it this far into the video, really thank you so much. The watch time is really something I mean. So from Mohan Exotics, you guys know I love you. You guys know I appreciate you and peace out.